This is everything coming to launch for Black Ops 6. The release times, the progression, including prestige emblems and master prestige, camos, reticles, the weapons, game modes, maps, war zones, zombies, and everything else along with it. So go ahead, drop a like, subscribe, and let's begin. So first, we're going to be talking about the release times because this one is the most tricky to get your head around. I'm going to be explaining it in such detail that you'll probably leave this video going, finally, I know. So the release times for Call of Duty Black Ops 6 are differing slightly between PC and console and let me explain. So it's going to be a staggered global launch where PC players that are using Battle.net or Steam, the game will be available starting at 9pm PDT on October 24th which translates to different times depending on your region or what country you're from. For instance, players in New York can start at 12am on October 25 while those in London will have to begin at 5am BST and in Tokyo it's 1pm. However, no matter what country you're from on PlayStation and Xbox, at 12am on October 25th you can access the game so for PC players it's a lot different on the time zones compared to PlayStation and Xbox and the difference in releasing the schedule like this allows PC players to potentially gain a few hours of early access compared to their console counterparts not sure why they did it like this but it must be for that reason so yeah hopefully that makes sense but anyway let's move on to the progression in Black Ops 6 where we'll be talking about prestiging and emblems and calling cards and all that good stuff so the level progression in Black Ops 6 will take you from level 1 all the way to level 54 and as you level up, you unlock a range of content, obviously including weapons, score streaks, operators, and more. But once you hit level 55, you have the option to enter prestige, where it resets all your progress, but you'll be unlocking exclusive rewards and continuing your journey through multiple prestige levels all the way to prestige 10. And for each prestige level, you receive a permanent unlock and reward, such as prestige calling cards and skins. And you'll be able to keep one thing unlocked every single time of prestige. Now, camo grinding is finally back and it's bigger than ever. So the journey to final mastery camos like Dark Matter in multiplayer, Nebula in zombies, and the Abyss camo in Warzone is both challenging and rewarding. You'll first have to go through military camos, which is all headshots. Finally, it's finally back to headshots only, not get 15 kills where your enemy is flying through the air. Like, all that shit, fuck that shit, man. We're back to the basics where we just have to get headshots to unlock camos, finally. But it doesn't stop there, because after those military camos, you get special camos, and then finally, the master camos as well. We're gonna be grinding a lot this year. Now, we can also finally customize reticles, where you can design your optics by completing challenges across different gamers, Modes, whether in zombies, warzone, or multiplayer, so that's good. Now, for the most dedicated players, reaching prestige master unlocks even more rewards because once you've reached prestige 10, you'll continue leveling up all the way to level 1000, unlocking legacy prestige icons from previous Call of Duty games at every hundred levels. I mean, we're only just a few minutes into the video, and you can see there's so much things to grind, and unlocking this game is going to be really, really fun. Now, that's everything you need to know regarding progression. Let's move on to weapons. Black Ops 6 delivers an extensive arsenal of 33 weapons including 12 that are brand new to the franchise and at launch you can expect a diverse range of weapons finally we get a lot of weapons this time at launch seven assault rifles six smgs two shotguns three lmgs four marksman rifles and three sniper rifles now for secondary weapons there are four pistols and two launchers and no riot shield finally They've gotten rid of the right shield. Oh my god, you don't understand how much I hate that thing. And I'm sure you do too. I'm sure you do too. Let's move on to game mode. So, Black Ops 6 offers a wide variety of multiplayer modes at launch, just as usual, with classic modes like Team Deathmatch, Domination, Search and Destroy, Kill Confirmed, Free For All, and Hardpoint will all be available at launch for 6v6. But we've also got Gunfight coming into the mix as well for that 2v2 smaller close quarters action as well. Now, in addition to these core modes, we've got also face-off very of Team Deathmatch, Domination, Kill Confirmed, and Kill Order, which are offering a stripped down experience with no score streaks allowed. And for players seeking an extra challenge, you can always go to Hardcore. That will have Domination, Kill Confirmed, all that good stuff. Now let's move on over to maps. So at launch, guys, Black Ops 6 is going to have 16 multiplayer maps, which is finally good. That's a standard it used to be. We're going to have 12 core maps, which are going to be Babylon, Derelict, Low Town, Payback, Protocol, Red Card, Rewind, Scud, Skyline, Subsonic, Vault, and Vokuda. Then there's also going to be four strike maps, which are Gala, Pit, Stakeout, and Warhead. These maps are going to be offering a range of environments and layouts to suit different players, just like you guys know. You're going to have to change up your tactical stuff every single map you go into, which is good. We're back to the three lane way maps as well. But that's about it for maps. Let's uh, go on to Warzone. In Black Ops 6, Warzone is receiving several key updates and changes that will enhance gameplay and provide new experience for players. One of the most notable additions is the introduction of Area 19 
to 9, which is a new resurgence map, which is set in a classified military base, offering both intense close quarters combat and long range sniping opportunities as well, obviously. And the Omni movement system is back into Warzone. Starting at launch, it will be integrated, making movement more dynamic across both tight and open spaces across all maps of Warzone. That's awesome. Wait, actually, it might be just Area 99. I'm not actually sure about that one. If anyone knows if Omni movement is going to come into um, all Warzone maps or just Area 99, let us know in the comments down below, please. And now, guys, Warzone will also feature its own set of Master Camos, allowing players to showcase their achievement in Warzone, not just in Zombies and Multiplayer anymore. This is good because in Warzone, you're going to have your own players playing Warzone for Camos and your own players in Multiplayer and your own for Zombies. It's going to break up the play base, in my opinion, which is good. Everyone's going to stick to their own lane. No cost multiplying just to get those Camos. But alongside these changes, Warzone will also include new reticle challenges, Dark Ops calling card challenges, and enhanced Ascendant and Zipline mechanics for smooth and quicker travel. The return of Classic Prestige, as spoken about before, also marks a significant update in Warzone, which is going to allow players from level 1 to 55. And these are the basic updates that are coming to Warzone at launch. Let's go on to the final one, Zombies. In Call of Duty Black Ops 6, the Zombies experience brings back the much-loved round-based Zombies mode with a compelling narrative continuation of the Dark Aether storyline from Black Ops Cold War. Now, at launch, there's going to be two distinct maps, Terminus Island and Liberty Falls. Each are going to offer their own unique challenges and environments, obviously, and these maps are as much characters in the story as the operators, each filled with their own intricate designs and interactive features like the Rampage Inducer. And Treyarch has also promised additional maps and updates in the future seasons to keep the Zombies experience fresh. Also returning, as you probably know, are Gobble Gums, which we haven't seen since Black Ops 3. They are single-use power-ups that can be used in the game with purchases of Essence or free ones at the start of every round. And they'll provide bonuses like Insta-Kill or Teleport Anywhere. And they'll come with a variety of rarities and apparently you can actually pay to get them now with real money which is kind of good kind of bad i mean it's good because now we're going to put more money into the zombies game mode which means better zombies in the future but also bad because people are going to be spending a lot of money for some fake gobble gums and zombies like that's crazy but people can do what they want whatever now these are available in a variety of rarities as i said from rare to ultra each with increasingly potent effects for example the ultra gobble gum perkaholic gains the player every single available perk on the map at once straight away as soon as the ingester it gets every single perk in the map it's going to be cool now on the progression side of zombies black ops 6 introduces an exciting new feature that allows solo players to save their match and return to it at a later date this is the first in call of duty zombies history and offers players more flexibility when tackling longer high round runs i'm going to reach level 1000 trust me now additionally to this guys the return of a prestige system brings back the opportunity just like in warzone and multiplayer to reset levels after reaching level 55 i'm pretty sure they're all joined pretty sure you're going to be the same level throughout all three game modes it's not separate like in the old black ops VR games but yeah i hope i've covered everything if i haven't there's all the links in the description to go check out each weapon each map each game mode in great detail this video would be like seven hours long if i put every detail in but go check out those links drop a like subscribe and i see you guys at launch joey rhymes out